back with another video for you guys today we have our free aka another one ladies and gentlemen but it is not from the solo challenge it is from the competitive uh field pass from season two before we continue please like comment and subscribe on a roll to 15,000 subscribers let's go and get straight into later jeffrey saying brie what are you talking about if you just did the video on monday you couldn't say you couldn't get more than one that is correct but you have to go to your season um come to your live events come to your competitive field pass and i just actually just grinded out they gave us a lot more stats to do 88 overall bnd aka champion fantasy pack now we, we had speculation that this might have updated to 89 or maybe the 90s but they actually stayed the same it was kind of similar to what the headliners promo was last competitive pass when we got it with um but it, that one was kind of better because uh at least you had the champion and stuff like that this one isn't bad either i kind of wish that this was the 89 but it's perfectly okay um the dailies as well make sure you guys do them your uh mud champs updated i'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys I, me personally i might do it this week because of the milestones i'm not touching head to head because they're giving out one 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 if they start to give out more rewards obviously they want to keep people from maxing out their pass very, very quickly i understand that but all that being ones and twos hell no i'm not gonna sit and stress out obviously they did remove the win requirement which is great but still but it did add a lot of these so this is gonna be your best friend guys your milestones mud champ solo battles and your dailies mainly I, I, i'll probably dab in a little bit in uh, the milestones but for sure eda overall bnd aka champion fantasy pack if you guys have gotten here let me know in the comment section down below i would love to see and talk to you guys about it but we have the pack i still have my 90 overall which i'm waiting hopefully we get overall boosts for this weekend but i believe it'll probably be next week because it will be october by getting ready for the harvest promo and they will probably want to end off most fear with them being 90 so i might still hold off on this depending on who the legends which we kind of know is probably luke keithley um, you guys probably already know by the time you've seen this video, either Luke Keith Lee, I know for sure Carl Michael, and probably Champ Bailey. But we do have the 88 overall BND champion pack. I thought Marlon Humphrey was in this, but no, it's going to be with, I believe, Devontae Smith, Lawrence Taylor, Gronk, Pat Pete, Creed Humphreys, and I forgot who the other one is. Terry Bradshaw. Probably saying, Bree, who was the best one? Who should you pick? Who should I go with, Bree? Now, like I always tell you guys, when it comes to free cards, always pick position that you know you're not going to be able to upgrade for a very, very long time, especially if you're going to be no money spent um keep in mind your theme team you know what positions you know what card we're potentially going to get every single time um if we had, what was it two four six so six cards um i've had to rank just basing it off of right what we have right now i think number six would probably be Devonte smith at this point maybe five would be it's kind of tough because it depends on, I don't know what everybody wants and needs on their team. So it's kind of hard for people like, hey, this is what you guys need to do and pick because I don't know what you guys position need. But I don't, well, Slim Reaper is not bad. He still cooked me. I looked the other day. Um, he would probably be six for me. Gronk would, uh, is Pat Pete 85 or is he 80? I think he's 86. Ugh. I don't know because we do have other corners that are budgeted at least 87. So I will probably go with, uh pat pete being five gronk will be four actually no i'll take it yeah yeah terry bradshaw will be three if you happen to need a quarterback injury is not good two will probably be lawrence taylor if you're lacking a pass rush but keep in mind also you have the free michael parsons that is also out so keep that in mind when making this decision because i believe they're both the same right outside linebackers if you want to go with lawrence taylor but i think number one is going to be creed Humphreys for a lot of you guys mainly because i'm gonna tell you guys why the country strong x um aka boost he gives plus one throw power stuff like that help it run blocking so in my recommendation i always think lineman is the best choice or potentially pass rushers mainly because they can last your team for a very very long time it isn't a skill position because usually with these skill positions especially corner and it's, it's simply the fact that these cards came out about a month and a half ago they're kind of low in value i'm going to go i mean obviously with your theme team i'm going to go with uh, creed humphreys because of the country strong um uh, boost to his thing. Even though I do run uh, a hybrid theme team right now, I got to figure out a way to get him on the field. But I do think he's going to be the best one for right now because of the boost. Or just put him as a backup. He doesn't have to start on your team. Long as he's on your team, he gives him boost. That is the main reason why you want to actually use this card. So boost all quarterback, center, right guard, left guards. Um, plus one to strength, plus one throw power, plus one run block, and plus one pass block power. So 
I think this would be the choice that everyone's is probably going to go with, but probably not because of you also have Marquise Pouncey. A lot of you guys probably have Kevin Mawai. So it just depends on what you need. Uh, if you don't go with him, I think you should probably either go with Pat Pete, maybe Lawrence Taylor or potentially Gronk. So I love you guys, man. I'm out. Peace.